Okay, good morning or early afternoon, depending on what your location is, everybody. Um, Frankie here with your fourth stimulus check update and related news. Um, we're going to have a final vote on the infrastructure package in the Senate today, um, and that's going to be interesting. We expect that to pass and be sent to the House. Now, what's going to go on after that is the next stimulus package, and that's going to happen next week. Um, it's going to start Monday, um, and the bill will be pre uh, unveiled very soon, Monday or Tuesday, and they'll probably end up voting on it at the end of the week. Um, and Biden will probably sign it the following week around Monday. So yes, it's taking a while, but that's because they're trying to pass two packages in tandem with each other. And uh, one being the $1.2 trillion uh, infrastructure package. And the other one being the $3.5 trillion uh, stimulus package, which we already know has adult tax credits in it. And we already know there's uh, monthly checks going out. Uh, to children of $250 to $300 per month to equal a total of $3,000 to $3,600 for a year. Right now, that's only passed for a year, but they are trying in this next package, that's a, that's a provision in this next package, to extend that till 2025. So when we also expect an adult tax credit, um, possibly around $4,000, if not more, um, and if you do the math, that's $333 per month um, in, in tax credit. And really the only difference between a tax credit and a stimulus check is that a stimulus check is in one lump sum and a tax credit is basically monthly payments and to equal that full lump sum over a certain period of time. So they're both the same thing. A stimulus checks and a tax credit, you don't have to pay it back. They're both the same exact thing. So um, what's going to happen is we're using reconciliation to you to pass this uh, stimulus package. And that means we're only going to, we don't need, any, the filibuster is eliminated. We don't need 60 votes. We don't need that 10 votes from Republicans. We just need all the votes from the Democrats. Um, then it'd be a tie. And that tiebreaker vote will go to Kamala Harris and she'll vote on it. And there you go, it's passed. So uh, I do expect this to be passed in the next 10 days and expect um, us to know exactly how much money we're getting uh, probably before that. Uh, probably within the next five to seven days, we'll be able to know. So that's all I have for this morning. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day.